Hey Gems, what's going on? Today I'll show you how to actually play Minecraft Java Edition on your mobile. Now, some of you might be wondering if this is a quick bait, which is certainly not. And some of you might be thinking that I'm a little too late, which I certainly am. But now is better than never, so stick around till the end and without any further BS, let's go! First, go to Google or any internet browser and search Pojav Launcher just like so. Now find and open github.com Pojav Launcher team. Then scroll down a little and click on the latest release. For your convenience, I'll put the direct link in the video description. Now scroll down again and find assets. If it's minimized, then expand it just like this and click on the second one which is appdebug.apk. Now your download should start, but after a while if it says download forbidden or download failed, then you will require a VPN just like me. After the download is completed, install it like a normal app and open it. After allowing this access, wait for a few seconds to let it unpack stuff. Then you'll get to this login screen. Now if you have a paid Minecraft Java account, you can log in with that but if you want to play for absolutely free then simply put any email or username and password of your choice and enable keep me logged in so that you can log in easily with select account from next time and most importantly enable login as an offline account then click on the login button and it will create you an offline account which will even let you play on cracked servers as well as single player minecraft but you cannot play on premium servers such as hypixel without a paid account okay now go to settings and scroll down a bit then turn off auto ram and click on jvm launch argument below it now you have to erase till xmx just like so and write two characters after it without spaces depending on the ram of your device you have to put 1g for 1gb ram 2g for 2gb ram and so on for my 6GB RAM mobile, I have to put 6G here. Then simply click OK. After that, you'll need to select a version from the bottom middle. Click on the arrow to expand all the version available. As you can see, you can play any version from the oldest to the latest release. You can also play the snapshots if you want. So now select a version you want to play. I am going to play the latest release, so let me just select the top one. After that, click on the play button. Now, depending on your device and internet connection, it will take quite some time to download. So wait till it's finished and it should start automatically afterwards. For a few seconds, you'll see a grey screen with just buttons. But fret not, wait a couple seconds and soon enough you'll see the Mojang loading screen. After the loading is complete, you'll finally see Minecraft Java Edition running on your mobile. Now let's create a world and see how good or bad FPS we get. Remember, depending on your device, the performance you'll get will be better or worse than mine. Now let's hop into a brand new world. The world generation will take a little time so be patient. Now let's open debug screen and see what kind of FPS we are working with here. And remember, after joining a world, you may get lower FPS than normal. Just walk around a little bit and it will be back to normal soon enough. Hmm, I'll say it's running pretty decent in my device. But it can be even better if we use Optifine. So let's just do that. To download Optifine, go to Google or your internet browser again and go to Optifine.net and then go to Downloads. Click on Show All Versions to find the version you are looking for. Download Optifine for the version you will be playing in your Pojav launcher. Now you will see download buttons besides every version here. Click on whichever one you need and it will take you to this page. After waiting for a few seconds, click on the skip button from the top right corner and you finally come to the main download page. Just close this ad. Now click on the download button and start the download. It will download the .jar file. 
Now go back to Pojav Launcher and click on options right below the version. Now select the first option that says launch a mod installer. Now locate and select the recently downloaded .jar file. It's in my downloads folder as you can see. Ok, after selecting it, you'll see a log output. After it's done, click on the version arrow and go to the bottom end. You'll find the Optifine version at the very bottom as you can see. Now select it and just click on the play button. Also I customized my key map as you can see. You can simply do this by going to options then custom controls. Anyways, after waiting a bit, you can see we are at a modded Minecraft this time which is of course Optifine. Now let's hop into another world and see what's the difference. I can already see that the world generation speed was much faster than before. Now let's check the FPS. I moved the controls so that you can see the debug screen clearly. Now as you can see, I am getting pretty good FPS. But we are using the lowest settings. So let's just increase the render distance from 2 to 8. Now you can see the FPS have dropped quite a bit, but it's still playable, while without Optifine you get almost unplayable FPS. Also go to video settings then performance and turn on the smooth FPS to always get a stable FPS count. So that's it, that's how you can play Minecraft Java Edition with Optifine in your mobile. If you have any questions or want me to make some other Pojav launcher related videos, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video a bit useful, then make sure to do all the YouTube stuff every YouTubers ask you to do. And until next time, rest in peace.